Hello everyone, this is Dana from the Monroe County Public Library and I'm here to read some stories with you today. Let's go ahead and get started and let's sing our song, Hello Friends. Are you ready? Here we go. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Hi everybody, how are you today? Well, today I thought maybe we would talk about caterpillars and mushrooms and the rain, all kinds of things like that. Well, this is called The Very Hungry Caterpillar, and maybe you already know this book. Well, if you don't, I'm going to read it to you right now because I think everybody should know this book. It's by Eric Carl, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. There's that little egg lay on the leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. Not very big, is he? Nope. Not yet, anyway. He decided to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple. But, not good. He was still hungry. And on Tuesday, he ate through two pears. One, two. Can you see them? Can you see those pears? One, two. Hmm. I wonder what's next. Oh my goodness. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums. And he was still hungry. Look at that. One, two, three. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. Look at that. Can you count those strawberries? One, two, three, four. But he's still hungry. Wow. Look at his little ear. <laughs> well, on Friday, he ate through five oranges. But he was still hungry. Five. Can you count all five of those? One, two, three, four, five. Wow. He was hungry. <laughs> On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and a slice of watermelon. Oh my gosh. Mm. That night he had a stomach ache. Well, why do you think he had a stomach ache? What do you think that was all about? Yeah. Maybe he ate too much. Well, the next day was Sunday again, and the caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. No, well, now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big fat caterpillar. Look at that. Yeah. Well, he built a small house, called a cocoon around himself, and he stayed inside for more than two weeks, and then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out. What do you think? Yeah, that's right. He was a beautiful butterfly. Yeah. 
that was the very hungry caterpillar. Now, I want to tell you something, and that I don't mean to say anything bad about this book, because this is one of my all-time favorites. But did you know that caterpillars actually, they don't build a cocoon? No, they use a chrysalis. And here's my little caterpillar friend. So what they do is they crawl up a branch, eat some nice leaves, just like in the story, and then they hang upside down. And then they shed this outside skin, and underneath is a hard layer. And inside that hard layer is goo. I know, it's goo in there. And all that goo starts to rebuild itself, and finally it rebuilds itself into a butterfly. And then that hard shell cracks open just like this. And out comes a beautiful, look at that, butterfly. Yeah, how about that? Yeah, a beautiful butterfly. I think this one is a swallowtail butterfly. And we have those here in Indiana. Yeah, we have yellow ones and black ones. They're really beautiful. So I just wanted to let you know that. This is my puppet, my caterpillar puppet. Yeah, so on the inside, there's the caterpillar. And I can put it all back inside, just like this. And seal it back up. And turn it back into a caterpillar. How about that? Yeah, that's a pretty fun puppet, isn't it? And there's my caterpillar. Yep, that's the caterpillar. It crawled up, hung upside down, and made itself a chrysalis. Yeah, I like that. All right, well, I have another book, one of my all-time favorites. This one's called Mushroom in the Rain. Mushroom in the Rain. One day an ant was caught in the rain. Where can I hide? He wondered. He saw a tiny mushroom peeking out of the ground in a clearing, and he hid under it. He sat there, waiting for the rain to stop, but the rain came down harder and harder. Oh, can you see that? See how the rain is coming down? Oops, pointing to the wrong thing, aren't I? See how the rain is coming down harder and harder? You can see that. Yeah, and there it is, coming down really hard on that poor little ant under the mushroom. A wet butterfly crawled up to the mushroom. Cousin ant, let me come in from the rain. I'm so wet I can't fly. How can I let you in, said the ant. There's hardly enough room for me. It doesn't matter. Better crowded than wet, said the butterfly. When the ant moved over and made room for the butterfly, and the rain came down even harder. Oh, look at that. Did you see that? Did you see how the butterfly made its way under the mushroom? Yeah, with the ant. The mouse ran up. Let me in under the mushroom. I'm drenched to the bone. How can we let you in? There's no room in here. Well, just move a little closer. They huddled closer and let the, the mouse come in. Well, and the rain came down, and it came down, and it came down, and it wouldn't stop. Somehow that mask got under there, didn't it? Yeah. A little sparrow hopped up to the mushroom crying. My feathers are dripping. My wings are so tired. Let me in under the mushroom to dry out and rest until the rain stops. There's no room in here. Please move over just a little. So they moved over and there was room enough for the sparrow. And there it is. The rain's coming down. But that little bird managed to get in there, didn't it? Then a rabbit hopped into the clearing and saw the mushroom. Oh, hide me, he cried. Save me, a fox is chasing me. Oh, the poor rabbit, said the ant. Let's crowd ourselves a little bit more and take him in. Look at that. Look at that. How did they all get under that mushroom? As soon as they hid the rabbit, a fox. 
and run. Have you seen the rabbit? Which way did he go? He asked. We haven't seen him. The fox came nearer and sniffed. There is a rabbit smell around. Isn't he hiding here? You silly fox. How could a rabbit get in here? Don't you see there isn't any room? The fox turned up his nose, flicked his tail, and what did he do? That's right, he ran off. And now they hid that little rabbit. Well, by then, the rain was over. The sun looked out from behind the clouds, and everyone came out from under the mushroom, bright and merry. The ant looked at his neighbors. How could this be? At first, I had hardly enough room under the mushroom for just myself, and in the end, all five of us were able to sit under it. Hmm. I wonder what happened. Somebody laughed loudly behind them. Well, they turned and saw a fat green frog sitting on top of the mushroom, shaking his head at them. Qua ha ha ha, said the frog. Don't you know what happens to a mushroom in the rain? As he hopped away, still laughing. What happens to a mushroom in the rain? The ant, the butterfly, the mouse, the sparrow, and the rabbit looked at one another, and then at the mushroom, and suddenly they knew why there was room enough under the mushroom for them all. They figured it out. Do you know, can you guess what happens to a mushroom in the rain? Hmm. Did you see that? So here are the mushrooms. Now it's raining. Now look at them. It grows. Yeah. Mushrooms help, or rain helps things grow, just like plants. It helps mushrooms too. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story time today. And Let's go ahead and let's uh, sing our goodbye song. Are you ready? Here we go. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Stay, help, stay, stay safe and healthy out there.